there! The Fairy Dragon is a brand new, never before seen Dragon of the Month in DML. She's available to breed for the whole of March 2018, and there are many different combinations you could use to breed her, but today I'll be going through the five best that you can use. So the Fairy Dragon is very similar to the Legendary Love Dragon because she has the Legendary Light and Wind elements with the same 77 base attack and 246 base health. She could be useful on a lot of late game defensive teams so she's definitely a useful dragon that you'll want to get your hands on. So to have a chance of breeding the Fairy Dragon this month, you'll need to breed together two dragons that have the Fire, Wind, Earth and Metal elements. So with this in mind, and a little help from the DML wiki and the breeding calculator, I've put together a list of the five best combinations you can use to breed her. So my number one very best combination you can use to breed the fairy dragon this month is the black armor plus fire dragons. So the black armor is a relatively easy epic dragon to get a hold of and there are plenty of breeding guides out there on how to get him. But these two give about a 3% chance to breed the fairy dragon with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just 6 other possible outcomes. And the great thing about this combination is that the other possible outcomes have pretty low breeding times, being 45 minutes, 2 hours, an hour and 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 6 hours, so the longest is the tribal at 12 hours, which is a lot better than it normally is when you're going for dragons of the month. So, best thing to do is as soon as you try to breed one of these and if it fails, come back to your game as soon as it's done and keep rebreeding. Just because of the low breeding times and the low outcomes, that's why this is the number one combo I would suggest for you to use and I highly, highly recommend for everyone to be using it. But if you don't have access to the black armor, of course there are other options out there. Another very good combo you can use is the Tribal plus Metal Dragons. Or if you don't have the Tribal, there's a number of other dragons with the same elements that you can use to replace him, like the Prairie, the Mystic, any of those dragons that you have. If you breed those with the Metal Dragon, it will work the same as breeding the Tribal with the Metal. And so this gives around about the same 3% chance as the first combo, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, still 6 other possible outcomes. The difference between this and the previous combination is the fact that the breeding times on these other outcomes are much, much higher, sitting at 6 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours, 16 hours, and 8 hours. So. At the end of the day, you might be able to try six times to breed using the previous combo when you can only try using this one once. So this is the number two best combination you can use if you have it available. So the third best combination that you can use is the Heavenly plus Wind Dragons. And again, there are other dragons that share the same elements as the Heavenly, such as the Xylophone, and the shamrock and other things like that. So if you have those, you can use that in replacement for the heavenly. But he was just the dragon of the week, so a few people have access to him now. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other possible outcomes, giving about a 2.8% chance to breed the fairy with this one. And again, the breeding times on these are still relatively short, but there's the chance to breed the black armor, the razor, tornado, and tribal dragons, whose breeding times are a little bit longer. But, of course, not everyone has access to epic dragons, depending on what level they are in game. And so, for that reason, I have two combinations that use common dragons. So, pretty much, Almost everyone has access to using these combos. So the fourth best combo you can use this month is the Smoke plus Minotaur Dragons. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other possible outcomes here, giving about a 2.5% chance to breed the Legendary. And again, the breeding times for most of these are still pretty short, but there's a couple of outliers like the Tribal and Black Armor, which will make it a little bit more difficult. And again, you can use this combination as a lower level player, but if you manage to brood the black armor, definitely go and start using the best combo I suggested earlier. And then the fifth 
best combo that I would suggest to use that any player, more or less, also has access to the dragons of is the Lava plus Tornado Dragons. And the thing is about either of these, you can use their uncommon counterparts as well. So instead of the Lava, you can use the Salamander. Instead of the Tornado, you can use the Razor instead. It just depends on which dragons you have available. And this combo here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 other possible outcomes again. So a 2.5% chance. And again, chance to breed the Black Armor, Tribal, War, and a couple of other dragons with relatively high breeding times. But those are the five best combos I would suggest for you to use. But realistically, I highly recommend the first. But breeding combinations aren't the only thing that will affect how likely you are to breed this dragon. The levels that your breeding dragons are leveled up to also changes how likely you are to breed the legendary fairy dragon. The higher you level up your breeding dragons, the higher your chances of breeding legendary dragons. For this reason, I would highly recommend leveling up your breeding dragons to level 15 plus. Level 15 being the absolute minimum level you should use. But like I've said so many times before, there's only a low chance to breed the fairy no matter what you do, so it's probably going to take many, many attempts to breed her. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the fairy dragon's breeding time is the same as all legendary dragons sitting at two days normally, or that'd be one day and 14 hours with VIP active. So you should be able to tell instantly whether you've bred her or not. The important thing about breeding dragons of the month is to be patient. It's a legendary dragon, it's not meant to be easy to breed. It's taken me 98 attempts to breed a dragon of the month before, so if you've only tried 10, 15 times and you're already complaining it's impossible, then honestly, I think you're acting like a little bit of a baby. To put it in perspective, I haven't failed to breed a dragon of the month in over two years in this game just by refusing to give up and breeding as often as possible. Well, that should wrap up everything you need to know about breeding the fairy dragon, but let me know how your breeding's going and if any of the combinations worked that I suggested in the video, then feel free to drop a like so that we can help out even more people. But for now, I'm going to be trying my best to breed this dragon too, so best of luck to all of us. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll have more DML videos coming out very soon.